All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump in. That's kind of a shorter subject there. Uh, team predictions. Let's go into that. Uh, so uh, we've asked uh, each one of our hosts uh, to essentially come up with uh, really kind of who are the locks that they view that they view at the competition. You know, I ride. There, there's 70 teams. They're all good, right? There are some of those you know super elites that are going to be those tier five teams that are above everybody else. Uh, so we're not going to be able to get through all 70 teams. Uh, if you want to get through all 70, go watch the draft from last night because uh, we <laughs> went through all 70 teams on there. It was exhausting. Uh, yeah, it was a fun time though, for sure. Oh yeah. And uh, so what we're going to do is kind of go around and uh, we'll start with uh, Garrison uh, up top there. And what I'd like to see, uh, we're going to go through uh, first off, who, what team really stood out to you as, as a lock for the competition uh, for IRI? What's the one that has impressed you that you feel like, you know what, this team, they're going to be in the finals. They're probably going to win Garrison. Okay. So I know like, you know, the, the rest of y'all are going to choose, you know, the, the 2056, the 195, <laughs> those teams that those teams that are going to seed first. Right. I decided not to do that, um, not to choose a team that's going to seed first. I wanted to. I just looked for what I thought was one of the best pure scorers at this tournament that can I, has the potential to sort of blow people out of the water if they are given the opportunity. And I think that's twenty four eighty one. The Robo Tears. Um, and the reason I'm going to say that is, you know, they don't have the best RP. Um, they're they're not going to get the four RP. They're not going to rank particularly high, probably. Now, the field is deep enough at IRI that they might end up getting like four RP matches a bunch anyway because there are so many teams that can do it. But um, it's what they can do is they can score so much better. They only lost like six matches all year, and most of them were at championships. Um, and, I mean, they with their swerve drive and what they can do and autonomous and everything, I mean, they're, they're so good. And they do come to play at IRI. Um, that is a huge factor that um, I think you have taken. You've got to look at what these teams do year after year at IRI. Because some teams, you know, they've been here before. I've been in the pit next to them at IRI. And, um, you know, they're, they're a team that's going to come. They're going to bring their A game. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward for them to do big things. I don't know. I know you all have, probably have opinions on I have well, a lot of I, I, I do. I'm PJ, PJ, go ahead first. Okay, so here's my issue with 2481 as a lot. They have one of the best autons at the event. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're probably top five autos at the event. Their teleop play is really, really weak compared to the field at IRI. Like, they average only about, I've watched a lot of matches. They average okay. only about two, they average less than three teleop scale cubes a match, as opposed to like teams who are doing a lot of like, you know, solid handful of teams. Most teams that IRI are doing, yeah. let's see, where do I have them ranked? They're like number 35 in teleop. Yeah, on the, yeah. On the ranking predictions, they weren't too high um, yeah. either. And I, I, you know, yeah. I see them as a lock for me as they're going to be, and I know this probably is not what y'all thought of as a lock at all. I think they're a first round pick just because of their auton. I don't and, disagree. Yeah. I just think and, they might be a first round pick of like six, seven, or eight, and then get bounced sure. in quarters. Yeah. Just because they can't that. play under defense at all, and that's what cost them at Worlds. Like, if you watch their Worlds Elim matches, like, it was rough. But yeah, so I, I do not disagree with them as a lock to make Elims probably a first round pick. I'm just worried uh, for them. I just think that they're going to end up being like seven or eights first pick, which at IRI is not a very good play because of the non serpentine. It affects you a lot more, but right. That's why we play the matches, right? Oh yeah. And I think they have a good chance if they do end up in that six, seven, eight first pick range, they have a really good chance to actually upset somebody because their auton is so good. If they go into teleop with that lead, the, the, the top, the gap is really small here between some of those top teams. Like they have the chance to pull an upset. I mean, yeah, there's defense there. They have a real good chance to fall apart like they did at champs, but we'll see. Yeah. But you also have to keep in mind too, that there's not going to be all these stupid penalties that are just getting thrown around and tipping the scores. Like I, I do believe that they're going to do really well. And I think that without some of these just inconsistent refing penalties, they'll be able to really be like a, a really solid addition to somebody who can, you know, score higher than they can. But I think autonomous is going to get them ahead of the game in those elimination matches. And they're definitely going to be, I I'd like to think that they're going to be a first round pick before six or seven or eight. Yeah. They need to be with the right team, which when I yeah. get to, when we, when we get to my turn, I have two teams that they would do very well with. 
so I need to completely disagree with all y'all. And, <laughs> and I have been on the 2041 hype train for a long time, but not at IRI. This team is a second round, second to fifth seed pick. And here's why. 2481 has a couple main issues. They have at their competitions, they haven't been able to score on the switch in auto, which if you're going to be a later robot might need to be done. I've only seen them score two uh, cubes in auto otherwise, and they have trouble scoring level three or higher for cubes as well. Their arm with that A-frame just does not reach high enough to go late game. If you're already two cubes high, they are not consistent getting that third cube up there, for at least what I saw at championships. And for me, that's a big uh, issue with a team now, could they be a good third robot and vault and scale and play defense with a great sword drive? Absolutely, but as the first or second top score in their alliance, I don't see it personally. So sorry, twenty forty one. You know I love you guys, <laughs> but I, I I don't see them being that. I mean that's it's it's like years like where you always see thirty three and sixty seven going in the in the second or third round. I'm not going to be surprised to see twenty forty one uh, the same thing as well. All right, uh, Christine, do you want to go ahead with your pick? Yeah, sure. It's probably the most obvious pick of the night. And uh, <laughs> if they had an intro... Oh. No. <laughs> go, go further south. If they had an intro song, like most professional you know, baseball players do, it would probably be All I Do Is Win because they have won every single event that they've walked into this year, and it would be 195. Um, so they won every event that they went to. They won their division. They... <laughs> ended the season and then went to three off seasons and won all three of them. So they're definitely prepped and ready for IRI. And just like last year, um, right after their, you know, champs ending, they were pretty hungry when they came to IRI and I expect to see nothing less this year. Um, so some of the things that I think that will make them an obvious lock for first or somewhere very close to that, they have an incredibly consistent three cube scale auto on either side of the scale. Um, their buddy climber has been extremely consistent all season. And let's face the facts, they can stack higher than any other team that's going to be attending IRI this year. They've proven it time and time again at district events, at district championship, at championship, and just screwing around at their lab. So I expect to see some really, really high stacks. Um, something that's crazy about them that's always stood out to me this season is that they can stack three high on a scale that's tipped not in their favor. And one thing that is really unique about them is their younger drive coach is somebody that is willing to go ahead and take risks that other teams may not be willing to go and take with their team. So I expect them to do incredibly well. I would love to see them take home another banner this season from IRI and bring it back to New England. And I don't know. I think that they're definitely prepped and ready for another great off-season event this year. Oh, absolutely. And you didn't even I mean, mention their autos on top of it. So. No, she did. She did. Yeah, she did. Okay. Yeah, they, they undoubtedly have the best autonomous in the tournament. I don't okay. think anybody's going to question that. Um, <laughs> they are, and they are so consistent at it. Um, they, they struggle a little bit at district championships in the elims. But, I mean, 195, I've said it, they're so good this year. I mean, this is, and they've been good in the past, and I think this is probably the best robot they've built. Garrison, you keep saying that a few more times. They're going to use your voice in another video, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, I think you're, they, like, they, the biggest 195 fangirl over here would be Garrison. I'll, I'll take it. I've got, I've yeah. got no problem with that. <laughs> I, I will, you know, they, are, they were the best team in New England this year, mm. and it wasn't very close. No. And something that's unique about them is even when something goes wrong, like at Champs, I remember our fields were right next to each other. So it was nice that I can kind of peek over and watch them play because they were literally the tallest, you know, like <laughs> brontosaurus <laughs> robot at the event. When something went wrong, it didn't phase them. They just hopped right back in and then, you know, made up for it somehow every single time. And I mean, not to not to bring up like their crap luck from, you know, this past year and then another New England team beating them last year at Champs. But I think that they are just super driven by kind of wanting that that more that they didn't get at Champs last year or this year. So I think they're going to come into IRI like extremely excited and motivated. Um, they had a really great run this season, and I think Champs was awesome for them, but they're, I think that they're hungry and they definitely want to prove themselves, you know, on this high, high field, like with all these other amazing teams, so... Yeah, that, so that's my luck. The one thing about 195 that you kind of have to mention there is um, sometimes at champs they would struggle with some of the easy first level placements that they had. Uh, 
something like two cubes would be on the scale and they'd go straight up to layer two. And at IRI, placements are going to be so important. Mm -hmm. You want that really good first layer to get up there. Um, and I mean, if they've been practicing with their drivers, they're going to get up there. But that's something that they have to keep in mind is that even though they have that height, they shouldn't always be using it. And I think if they pair an elite elims with someone who's like really good at placement, like maybe like Comets or someone like that, then they'll have an easier time. But it's something that you need to remember in like qualifications and stuff. Yeah. And I think having coming like come off of champs, I don't know what their driver situation is going to be, but they have done three off season events now. So yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd imagine that whoever's going to be driving probably did at least one of those. So, yeah. All right, Audrey, let's go on to your team who you have selected uh, as a lock for IRI. All right. Well, I chose one eighteen. kind of a surprise there, but uh, they really have the potential to be the best team at IRI. Uh, just going into a few stats here, like three cube scale auto, two cube scale cross auto, one cube in the switch, whatever they're doing, you can expect cubes in the place after auto that they're aiming for. Because after 16 champs matches, 118 did not miss once. Uh, and then they follow up with stellar tele out performance too, averaging, uh, I think it was like 8.4 cubes a match with six of those on the scale, two of those just anywhere else that really needs it. But I mean, yeah, every team coming into IRI has those numbers, but what's really going to allow 118 to climb the rankings is, well, exactly that, their climb. Uh, they have a back forklift, really good at getting that extra ranking point, lifting another team in about 60% of their uh, champs qualification matches. Uh, onto more of their, like, tele out play, 118's placement of cubes is another thing that just sets them apart so far uh, in this upper level of play. Uh, they have this arm extension handoff thing, um, and it allows them to get to those placements that are in the back that just a normal forklift with those uh, the wheels on them just can't reach. But 118, you have to talk about their drivers. Um, the success of the 118 robot is really going to be dependent on who's driving it. Um, they're actually one of the handful of teams that can run new drivers at IRI, and if they do, we saw kind of a taste of that at Texas, Texas Robotics Invitational a few weeks ago. They were the 32nd seed, uh, and then they brought in their competition drivers and were finalists at that event. But we'll really have to see if they bring their A games to this event. Um, and if they do, they will be a top three robot at this event, no questions asked. Yeah, 118 looked uh, uh, very questionable with their new drivers, and they were using a backup robot as well, too, because they were they are saving their competition robot for mm. IRI oh. as well. So, yeah, so a little, little tidbit of <laughs> Just information. Just 118 there. things, like, yeah. <laughs> backup robot. They're, they're using, you know, their, their eighth iteration robot that they built. Um, so... Yeah, and I say, and our producer Nick Finley said that the, the new drivers were just, uh, it was anybody who, who wanted to drive. They'd be like, you want to drive the robot for quals? Go ahead and drive, sort of thing. And that, you know, that's cool. You know, whatever. I, I think yeah. I like, I actually like that for the most part. I mean, I, I write and me always have that magical place where it's like, I want the best out there. But I kind of like that at like other offseasons, like just let anybody drive. Then once you get in the playoffs, if you really want to go for it, then, then put in your 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 A team uh, for drivers. But yeah, 118, I think looks really, really good. Uh, they, I actually thought that they looked uh, in many cases better at TRI uh, than they did uh, at, some, at a couple points in championships, even as well too in the Elam matches. Yeah. And, and an unfortunate uh, issue with their robot crapping out on them in the uh, final three match, but they were looking uh, pretty good against uh, uh, 148 and uh, 4587, who will also be at uh, IRI as well. Yeah. And remember how close 118 was to Einstein this year. Mm -hmm. oh. Like <laughs> they were. <laughs> really close. I mean, two matches. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're they're definitely top tier again this year. I mean, it's 118, but um, yeah, th their driver skill this year, and I, they're gonna be putting in their real drivers for for IRI, um, or at least some with some training. And so, yeah, they're gonna come out and they're, they're I I find it hard to believe that they won't be in the top five. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's keep moving on. Uh, PJ, who do you have uh, for lock for IRI? Uh, for my lock, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna be a bit of a hometown boy, and I'm gonna go with 3357 out of Michigan. Uh, the Comets are the number one teleop team at IRI, and it's it's not even close numerically. They're the only team going to IRI that averaged more than six cubes in teleop. That's an average across their. Well, I think they played 18 matches, 17. So across their 17 matches at Champs, they averaged over six cubes in Teleop alone. 
that are the only team in IRI who did that. Their mm. placement is mad. Like you watch them stack the way they stack in place. They are one of the best. They're they're the best elevator placement, you know, in in the world. And they're just as good as most arm robots. Um, their one weakness is auto, but that's where somebody like twenty four eighty one um, can really play well with them because you know they need that auto support, but they don't necessarily need the help in teleop. Because they can put it up enough cubes. Like they've, they, I've, I watched matches where they came back. They were down by three cubes after auto and came back and won the match, uh, just based on teleop play. Additionally, thirty three fifty seven is bringing their regular season drivers, um, which is key. Uh, so they're bringing their regular season drivers, and they fixed the issues. Anybody who watched Detroit Einstein finals knows that the comets were dead in both of those matches. Uh, unfortunately, they've, they know exactly what those issues were and have fixed them. Like. Sure. Giant they, bolts of static electricity or what? No, <laughs> um, it was the first one was something uh, was jostled loose as the when they drove over from uh, Kobo to Ford. And then mm. in the second mm. match, uh, let me just pull up the message somebody sent me uh, for the second match uh, was something to do with the main breaker. According mm. to the person I asked, which they just replaced with a new main breaker. And, you know, so they just didn't even try to rip it. And, you know, that that fixed all the problems. So they know exactly what happened. They know where the problems were. They have fixed them. They're coming in. And I think, um, like Christine was mentioning about 195, they also have that same, like, hunger coming in because they did not end champs the way they wanted to end it, you know. Like, that's not how anybody wants to go out. So they're coming in. They're coming in with the regular season drivers. They're coming in hungry for that win, and I think that they're going to do some great things. So, PJ, let me ask you, is are the Comets the best team in Michigan this year? Oh. How, about, how about the best team that's attending IRI? Best team attending IRI in Michigan? Yes. Yep. And I would argue they're, they're top five in Michigan, and I would be inclined to say they were the best team in Michigan this year. Um. They're fast just because Michigan did not have stellar autos this year. Anybody who watched, you know, like we, Michigan doesn't have a single robot that did a three cube auto all year. And so Michigan was teleop play strong in most of their teams. And 3357 was, was the best at it. So I do think they're the best team in Michigan. I will, I will, I will <laughs> state it. They're the best team in Michigan this year. <laughs> yeah. As someone from New York, they're the best team in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap up then. Uh, my uh, lock is uh, is one of the obvious picks, and that's going to be team number 2056, uh, OP Robotics. Uh, dead killer autonomous mode, a great teleop. This team ha just has it all. And, and of course, uh, you know, just missing out on making Einstein by a couple unfortunate uh, misses on their climbs. Uh, and this team, I think, is really hungry for more. You know, I, I, I bumped into Tyler uh, Holtzman, their coach, a little bit after – uh, championships were done and you, you could see he was hungry for more still. And uh, if you've ever uh, played with Tyler or played with 2056, you know, this team is always out to win because they are fantastic. They, you know, they, they play very humbly, but at the same time, their strategy is absolutely fantastic. Try going up against them and good odds are you're going to lose most of the time just based on fantastic uh, strategy and great last second drive coaching that they had too. Uh, so this team is somebody, I, I don't think anybody's going to really, uh, you know, deny that this is not a great team, but to me, man, I mean, could you guys see them pairing up with 195 or something like that? Like how nuts and crazy could something like that be uh, through the competition? I mean, I mean there's, they've seeded. Uh, no, they've seeded ahead. first every tournament they've been to. Yeah, right. They they have not. They've they're they're arguably the best team in the world this year, um, other than the poops. And uh, you know, it's, they're very very good. I'm obviously. I mean, how many IRI banners do they have now? They won four of the last five. <laughs> I don't know how many <laughs> they won. But I don't know how many they won before that. I think they're tied for the most with Thunder Chickens right now. Mm -hmm. They're far yeah. more likely to get another one than Thunder Chickens are. But. I, I don't know, really? Yeah. <laughs> Thunder Good Chickens point. aren't bad, but 2056 is significantly better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I Championship agree. finalists there, PJ. Yeah, I know. The chickens, I'll... They can yell at me later. But <laughs> 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 Prove me wrong. I'd right. like to see someone beat 2056. But I think they're beatable. 
you're not wrong. I mean, they're definitely beatable. They didn't, you know, they didn't win championships, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But, but, the, but the question is, was that because of them or was it because of their alliance partners, right? And and we'll, we'll see, you know, who they get paired up with or who they end up picking, depending where they lie. It could be really interesting. Absolutely.